Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here with my weekly wrap up of what I've watched, listened to and read the, in the last week. So I'll start with what I've watched. I have not watched any films this week. Um, basically this week I've been watching mostly stuff on YouTube. So I'll leave links to the channels that I've been watching down below. Uh, the channels I've been watching this week are Slapped Ham, um, Weird World and Unexplained Mysteries. So they're all rather odd things supernatural so you've got um reincarnation and ghost stories ufos missing people all that sort of stuff hauntings cryptids it's just one of those things and i like to binge watch them and i tend to watch them late at night as well because i'm a bit weird <laughs> so like i said i haven't watched any films but i will leave links to those three channels down below so if you're into the paranormal or the unusual you can uh, drop by to one of those three channels and have a look i'm working my way through the old slapped, slapped hams at the moment but as they come in i do watch the new ones i've watched all of weird world they're absolutely brilliant especially the reincarnation the time slip ones i really like that sort of stuff what have i listened to well I've listened to a few things. I've been listening to my doo -wop CD while I've been out about in the car, like when we went out yesterday to Roth. We've had uh, the Oldies channel on, on the internet radio. So we have, I think it's uh, Absolute Oldies and the 50s and 60s Oldies channels. We've had that on. Um, I've listened to two albums this week. Uh, the first one I listened to was this Judy Garland vinyl record. It's just called Judy Garland Concert. Now it's nothing really special. It's just a load of her live performances sort of mashed together in on two LPs. Um, if you're a collector, it's worth getting. If you're not, it's, it's really not. What is nice about this is you have inside, it's obviously it's a gatefold, so you've got lots of lovely pictures of Judy throughout the years. Like so, and this one of her in her sort of like tramp costume and or a clown costume. Um, there's also inside of that a little booklet as well the pictorial years, the best of Judy Garland. And it's just a little book and there's a photograph in there as well, this photo print that you could frame and put on the wall. And then it just tells you a little bit about the years. So some photographs, um, some of the, the, the films and the early films as you can see. And it goes on and tells you about films like The Wizard of Oz and the MGM stuff and then uh, leave in MGM and all that and then it's got the concert stuff as well so if you're just a casual Judy Garland fan I would recommend getting something like the Amsterdam concert or obviously Carnegie Hall which is uh, um, the best one uh, just because Carnegie Hall is, is oh, an amazing album I've got it on CD and on vinyl in fact it was the first Judy Garland record, record I bought back in the early 90s and the other record I have listened to this week is another oldie, but a goodie. It's not as old as uh, Judy Garland, though. And that is Madonna's Like a Virgin album, or as Paul calls it, Like a Birdie. Again, classic album, classic tracks such as Material Girl, Angel, Like a Virgin, Over and Over, Love Don't Live Anymore, Pretender, uh, and so on. Dress You Up, Into the Groove. Absolutely great album this is. I love I love Madonna and this is a really nice album. So those those are what I've really been listening to this week. Hopefully I'll listen to a bit more uh next week now onto the reading. I haven't read that much this month. I did finish Harry Grant, um The Light Touched by Lionel Godfrey. I really did enjoy this book. It, it only goes up to like the very early 80s, so he's still alive at the end of this. It doesn't go up to his death, but it's a nice little overview of his life and career if you're interested. Uh, I've got this one off of eBay with another one, which is a bit more in-depth and a bit more scurrilous. It's not scurrilous. There's non none of this real scandal stuff in it, though, the modern stuff, oh, he was gay or whatever. Not that that's important, in my opinion. His, his talent is what impresses me and how nice a person he, he seemed to be as he came across. Never forgot Bristol. Always loved visiting his hometown, you know. Um, so I really did enjoy that one. So that's a nice little book to pick up if you just want a little overview on his life. Obviously, it doesn't go up to, to his death. And I finally finished reading Rudolph Valentino, The Silent Idol, 
by Donna L. Hill. It's his Life of Photographs, it's the expanded edition. So it's just full of photographs from Donna Hill, Tracy Tahern and others collections. Um, if you're a, a Valentino fan, it's definitely worth picking up. Now, I would ideally like the Lulu hardback edition. Obviously that's got glossy pages, but it's a lot more expensive. I picked up this one. Some of the photographs are a little bit faint, but still there's some fantastic shots of Valentino throughout his uh, life and career in that book. So definitely, if you're into Valentino and you want to see lots of pictures of him, this is the book to get. It's, it's really good. All right, what am I reading? What am I, um, what am I going to be doing next week? Well, next week, Paul's going to have a Zoom beer with his friend, so I will be watching a couple of movies. I'm going to watch a couple, at least one of the Cary Grant films. I've got maybe two. So next week, we'll be talking about um, some movies that I've watched. And I might even watch a film tonight. So if so, you'll have that one as well. Um, listening to it just depends on what takes my fancy during the week if I fancy putting on Madonna I'll put on Madonna if I fancy Judy it'll be Judy and so on um, so I don't know what I'm going to listen to reading I am currently reading May West It Ain't No Sin by Simon Luvish now this is the second biography of May West that I'm reading I have read one before I can't remember what it's called I don't even know where it is it's probably behind me to be honest um, but you'll see that when I finally do my Hollywood book tour, which will be coming up hopefully soon. Um, I'm not very far into it yet. I'm on page 75, but I'm really enjoying it. She really was an amazing woman, Mae West. I mean, we look at her in her later years and think of her as a sort of a caricature and a joke. But in reality, she was a very, very strong woman. And uh, even one of her quotes said... Um, on the back. Play mother parts, sad parts, dumb parts or virtuous wife. Betrayed or otherwise, I pity weak women, good or bad, but I can't like them. A woman should be strong, either in her goodness or her badness. So it's, it's really good. There's some brilliant pictures of Mae West as well. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I, I don't know how truthful it is, but I, I just enjoy reading these things. And of course, I'm still working my way through <sighs> Judy Garland's a portrait in art and anecdote. I've made a bit of a, a dent in it now. I am getting through it. But it's just I keep stopping to look at the pictures because the pictures are just so beautiful in this book. Um, and there's so many that I have not seen before. There's a lot that I have. Um, and the artwork of the films is it's just fantastic. So I'm on page 100. There's a lot of pages. So I'll be to see if I can find. So, I mean, just, just look. Just look at the cat, look at the pictures. They are stunning in this book. So it is taking me a while to get through it, but I am determined to finish that one shortly. So I can get on to my next couple of books. I have got so many books to read, both fiction and non-fiction, that my head's spinning just looking at them. But uh, yeah, I will be reading uh, the rest of this hopefully this week, and I'll try and make a good dent in May West. That's it really for this um, reading, watching, listening wrap up. I hope you've enjoyed it. What I was wondering was, would you prefer me to put this at the end of the weekly vlog every Sunday? Or do you want me to keep it as a separate video? Uh, it's up to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to keep it separate so that you can just find this bit because you don't want to go through the entire weekly vlog. I totally understand that and that's that's fine. I'm happy to do that. If you want me to put it at the top end, of the, you know, the very end of the weekly vlog as the last bit, I'm happy to do that as well. So if you just let me down, know down in the comments below, I am happy to do that. I hope you've enjoyed this. Hopefully I have a bit more to talk about next week, but I really didn't watch very much or listen to as much as I would have liked to or even read as much. But that's being a mum for you. You just don't get the much time to do stuff, especially with all the other videos and the colouring and the eBay that I do. I'm lucky to get through what I do. I will see you tomorrow in the weekly vlog. Bye, guys.